is a waiting energy here from both the sides. You're waiting, they're waiting. Both of you have had like put like a lot of investment, a lot of emotions in this connection out here. There's this wait and watch energy out here right now, okay? So I'm getting here, no communication, no movement forward, okay? Everything's at a standstill out here. The person you're dealing with wants a brand new cycle with you, okay? This is someone who wants a renewal in a cycle, all right? This person wants to come in with clarity. This person's very optimistic, okay? That things will work out between you guys, okay? But they definitely want a new beginning with you. You, on the other hand here, I guess you're manifesting this person here, okay? Because we see the magician here. So you got the power. You got all the elements. You got what it takes to manifest this person back, all right, in your life. But uh, again, the magician does not always mean manifesting the same person. This could also be you manifesting new opportunities in your life. And this could just be something where this has nothing to do with this person who's coming back. Because they're coming off as the sun out here. So I feel this person wants a new cycle with you. Because for right now, like I said, things are on hold. Nothing's moving. Okay. But yes, before they come towards you wanting to communicate, etc. I think this person's like, you know contemplating a lot of self-reflection reflection trying to find out what they can do or what how they can make this better okay how do you feel about this person cancer how does this person feel for you this person wants a reconciliation with you for sure okay i want one card they want to take a brand new beginning with you yeah. See, this is what happened. This is what's happening here. This person out here, okay, now you feel that this person has a lot of love for you, but you see them as someone very, very immature in their approach, okay? Um, you see them as someone, you know, who's holding back because they don't want to get vulnerable, all right? You see them as someone who definitely wants um, to move this connection forward with you. But it's that very um, shy energy, I'd say, okay? Shy, more than shy, I feel uh, this, you, you look at this person as someone who does not like to go into that flow of emotions, okay? You see them as someone who likes to stay more realistic, okay? It's like, yeah, I love you, I understand that, but then that's the kind of person you see them as, you know? And you're more like, yeah, I love you, you love me. Let's get it going, okay? Uh, this person feels with the temperance out here that they are going to wait for the right time. Okay, this person's trying to be very balanced. They're trying to heal. Okay, this is a very good reconciliation card too. So they're trying to heal out here. They're thinking of a new beginning with you. They want to come towards you with a leap of faith. They want to trust this connection out here. But for right now, I feel that there is no momentum from this person. There is no action because this person wants to take some time off. Okay, they want to do it slow and steady, step by step. Okay, but they have all their faith in the universe that there is going to be a time when one day you guys are going to be back together. Okay. And you just look at them as very mature, sweet and short. Uh, what's the mutual energy? What's the mutual energy? Mm. Eight of swords in reverse. So I feel that both of you all are getting out of your head. You are getting out of your head because you felt very stuck, tight, bound, and restricted to, to this person. Restricted to this person, okay? You felt like there was no other um, way to get out of this person because it was probably getting very toxic. It was very unhealthy out here. So you probably feel that um, you weren't trusting your intuition. Let me just say, it. you're you're a Cancer, right? I mean, uh, you're a water sign out here. You weren't trusting your intuition. Now you're finally trusting your intuition and you feel that there is a lot more out there and you can't get out of this toxic relationship or this connection or this place, you know, like this dark place where you feel like, you know, there is no other choice. But you were putting yourself out there, okay? You were coming in your own way. This person out here with the mutual energy, I feel this person was a very negative thinker, okay? They were thinking either about the past, where this person had a fucked up past with someone else, where someone screwed them over. And that's why they had trust issues with you, okay? That's why they probably saw you as risky business. Now this person out here has is finally also trusting that intuition. And they see... Um, that there is a way that they can get to you and they can make this work out, okay? So you're both getting out of your uh, out of your uh, head. Both of you are not no more coming in your own ways. And things are getting better. But at least this is a good part, right? No more stuck, stagnant energy out here. Wow, I am sure. What action does this person... I didn't ask the question. I'm just going to... Okay. This person still lacks a lot of stability and security when it comes to you, okay? So if you're thinking of commitment... Still some time. Yep. 
says, this person wants to take it sweet and slow. All right. Slow and steady wins the race is what I'm hearing from this person. Okay. This person definitely wants to work with you. This person feels that if they want to make this work out, right? First of all, this person sees you as hard work. They see you as someone that they got to change for. They see you as someone they got to put in a lot of hard work, a lot of investment, okay? A lot of minute details probably even change themselves completely in order to make this relationship work out with you, okay? With the three of pentacles out here. They want to build, let's talk, let's build kind of energy out here. You, on the other hand, you're like, nope. That is no building, that is no waiting and watch energy out here, okay? Because with the emperor here, I feel that you're coming off as someone very, very rigid. You want this rigid structure, okay? You are coming off as very stubborn, all right? Like, no means no. Like, you know how a square is, right? That's how it is. There are no curves, okay? Squares have no curves. So you're not ready to be flexible anywhere, if you get what I'm saying. This person out here wants to be flexible, okay? They want that free flow. Honestly, this person is not the best who works very good with structures, all right? So, and you're coming off as someone who's very structured. It's got to be like this. It's one plus two plus three plus four. This person's like, no, maybe it's a one and then it's a three and then maybe it's a two. Get what I'm saying? All right, let's see. <coughs> Uh, what is the outcome? What's the outcome? Seriously, if you're trying to cage this person, if you're trying to tell this person, I want commitment, I want it now, or probably it's like, you know, every time this person wants to, you know, be more expressive, they like to keep it very, I wouldn't say casual, that's not what I'm looking for. This person definitely has a lot of love for you, okay? They love you, they have the emotions, but this person will take some time before they completely trust you and want to take things forward where they want to get themselves into that structure. Yeah. What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Beautiful. <laughs> Seven of Wands. See, that's what I'm saying. You're coming up as very rigid. You're coming up as a loner here. You know, someone who is very spiritual yes but i feel that you are still in that energy of where you don't trust this person okay if this person even wants to come towards you you're like whoa, whoa, whoa wait hold on let me just do like you know a complete analysis about what you really want from me okay you're not gonna be uh this person is not gonna have their way back to you easily is what i'm getting here you're very defensive about you i don't think this is this person i feel this person is coming towards you wanting to work with you in a partnership here but um they have new ideas, I'm feeling. I feel this person has new ideas. I feel this person wants to come towards you with an opportunity here where you guys can work together, get on the same page, okay? They're ready to put in the work. But you, my friend, because of your rigidity, your stubbornness, okay, you're not ready to change your mind, okay? Which is, again, something very harmful out here. You're still in that defense mode, okay? You're not going to let this person back in into your life that easy. You're going to be a hard nut, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Okay. What's the magician? So you're manifesting them, sorry. You're manifesting them also and you're being defensive also. What do you want? What's the magician? Yeah. Um, I guess you're at a crossroads right now. Okay. You don't know what to do. You're manifesting this person, but I feel that you are waiting for this person to make a decision. The moment they come to you, you're going to get defensive and you're going to go, this is what I want and that's how I like it, all right? But I feel here that you're at a crossroads. I feel you're waiting for them to make a decision. If not, they're, you're just at a point where you still need to choose a path. Two paths you need to choose. Both are unknown, left or right. This unknown or that unknown, okay? And it's like, so when I say unknown, it's like you're manifesting this in a way where if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But it's like you still have a choice out here. Okay, you still haven't made a choice is what I'm saying here. Um, it's like, do I go with this person? What's the future like? And if I leave this person, would it be the right decision? All right, what's the sun? What's the sun? One card. Yeah, they're wanting to come out of isolation. They want to start a new cycle with you. What's the sun here? saw the ace of cups in the hermit in reverse out here fuck one card nine of swords in reverse this person sees the light at the end of the tunnel here they want a reconciliation here this person wants to heal they want forgiveness okay this person screams i want a new cycle with you okay that's all they want this person's had, had has had sleepless nights a lot of remorse regret about what happened between you guys a lot of would have could have should have okay and i feel they're finally getting out of out of their head and probably even ready to take action Seven of Pentacles, why is that? Yeah. 
you're coming off from a place of resentment you know you're not thinking logically that's what's happening here you're you would have actually imagine you would have given an advice okay you would have given an advice to your friend okay or a colleague or someone who's going through this what would you have advised them probably just tell them you know what think logically let it go or when this person comes in be a little more receptive so you know you can be at a place you can make a decision right now I feel you're not even with this person and you're not even being able to move on from this person okay you're in between you're making the road even more tougher than it seems here you could be angry you're very angry you're pissed off you're coming off there's a lot of bitterness coming out okay because you could have explained to this person over and over again and now you're reaching this point where you're pretty fed up with them okay you're fed up but um probably that's why things are on hold out here okay page of cups in reverse why do you feel the page of cups in reverse for this person you don't see a potential with this person as what i'm getting here okay i feel that you want to move on okay i feel you're moving on you're releasing this person maybe you're manifesting to move on and maybe i think now i think with the magician and two of wands here i feel you're manifesting a new love manifesting new love or manifesting new opportunities which is nothing to do with this person out here you're not even looking at this person you feel this person in you is just not a possibility anymore here i feel you're releasing this person ready to take action very determined to move forward here but when it comes to this person here i feel that you don't want to have a new beginning with them because you just feel it's just not worth it or you just feel um how do i say um i could say very pessimistic i think you're being very pessimistic right now temperance why is that you know this is what this person feels why is the temperance here this person is waiting for you to heal or they're healing waiting for the right time waiting for the universe to give them a sign the star in reverse so this person temperance and the star in reverse So they have trust in the universe. They're trying to control themselves and not go all haywire and not overindulge or not just completely obsess with you, okay? But at the same time, they don't even have hope and faith that things will work out between you guys. That's very contradictory, right? Very, very contradictory. So you want to leave it to the universe also, and then you don't even have hope. What's the point? What's the eight of swords in reverse? What's the eight of swords in reverse? Wow. There we go. Here's the Ace of Cups. This person is releasing themselves from any situation where they felt restricted, negative thought patterns, uh, negative thoughts, or um, uh, any other external situations that they felt they were stuck in. Whereas they could have got out of this one and they wasted their time. The universe has given has given uh, has um, given them a signal. They've had a, a cold splash of water on their face, and now this person wants a brand new emotional cycle with you. emotional cycle. Okay. The emperor. Why is that? Why is the emperor here? Hangman in reverse. You're releasing yourself from this person. There's a lot of release from your side here. This person put you on hold. Agreed. But I think you're realizing now that you are on hold. on purpose you're putting yourself out there and keeping yourself stuck and stagnant okay this person has you kept so it's like you know what so this person and you probably you guys have split probably you guys have broken up separated etc okay maybe it's like this person told you that they don't want this with you or whatever they've said okay you have kept yourself on hold all this while thinking waiting watching contemplating that now this person comes back or when they come back things will work out between you guys so that's the kind of waiting game that you were having from your side not that this person asked you to wait for them now you realize that you know what it's time for me to release this situation you're ready to take action be ready to move forward all this while probably you were contemplating on what the next step should be or waiting for this person to take the next step but i feel you've had the spiritual enlightenment all this while that you were in the stuck energy here you know where things were on a standstill here and now you're ready to release yourself and moving towards something better what's the three of pentacles wow <laughs> tower This person was living in an illusion. Okay, this person was living in an illusion. They thought probably they could continue things the way they were. That's a narcissistic out here. Okay, so they thought 
they thought they were the only ones who needed all the importance and attention in this and they thought that even if it was a one sided situation you would still put up with that bullshit ray all right now this person wants to work with you they want to put in all the hard work they want to invest into you they want to be more committed more determined you know and make this connection successful now they want to put in all the work because guess what now um reality strikes they realize it's not going to work or it's not going to be you're not going to be able to continue the way it has been continuing so if this person has been repeating a cycle of coming back towards you with the same old shit i think they realize it's not going to work and they've had a realization like a wake up call okay and they know it can't work like that anymore seven of wands why is this the outcome this person has left a bad taste in your mouth you're letting this person go Seven of Wands with the Six of Cups in reverse here. So yeah, this person and you have had a lot of uh, cycles together, right? The problem here is that this person comes off as very childlike to me. Okay, they need to be taken care of. They need to be pampered. They need to be. Uh, they're very codependent. So every single time, I'm feeling that every time this person, you know, uh, they make a mistake, they expect you to forgive them, or they expect you to um, probably understand them. You know, they expect you to have a lot of compassion for them. but this compassion i think was coming to a point where this person became very very passive okay and this person was just laid back they would do nothing about it but only keep ma- repeating the mistakes i think you've grown out of this connection you've grown you know i think you're growing out of this connection out here you're um you're maturing okay because of the cycles that have been repeated with this person and now if this person comes back towards you when they come back to you it's you're going to be um you're not going to be ready to be vulnerable for sure okay you're not going to let your guards down this person's going to have a hard time trying to convince you that they genuinely want something serious with you or this person wants to start a new cycle with you they do they do with the sun here this person is going to give you all the clarity that you need and they're coming in very optimistically okay not over confident but being with a lot of confidence a lot of clarity that they do want this with you i mean they've been in their head for a very long time and they realize that it's not going to work because they're in their head they're procrastinating which is leading them to inaction finally they're getting out of their head they want to take action towards you the only thing is that when it comes to their feelings emotionally in their heart one moment this person wants to leave it to the universe and they want to heal they want a reconciliation the next moment they have they've lost all hope and faith that it'll ever work out so probably it's that queen of swords energy in reverse you know you guys you don't have to say anything to someone for them to feel this way your vibes are enough to make a person feel this way your thoughts reach a person okay whether you want it or not that's just how it works so if you want it to work out maybe a little more assertive rather than being bitter okay so that's all i have for you hope this video resonates leave your comments below like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye